and we'll do this one more time just to really drill it in and we will add copy this and we'll make this um, we'll make this a span class of three you know, we'll give it its style. We'll copy the same one from span six. And change it to three. We'll give it a background of. Oh, let's get crazy. We'll put some purple in there. And oh, wrong one. We will put purple right there. And yep, that should be good. So. Let's go back to our browser and check it out. Refresh. And there you go. So uh, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Each time you add a span class, you have to make sure that it equals up to 12. Otherwise, it's not going to fit right. Um, one feature of scaffolding I want to show you right now is nesting. Actually, no, we'll do offsetting first. So I'm going to copy this one again. Although this time I'm going to introduce a new class. I'm going to change this to four. And what I'm going to add here is the offset four class. And I will show you what it does in a minute. Let's style our span four. I'm going to copy and paste that. Change this to four, <clears throat> and we'll give it a background of. Let's see what have we used? Black, blue, purple. Oh, uh, we'll go green, and we'll save it, and we'll check it out in the browser. Now, I added the offset class to this element right here, and it was an offset of four. And what that does is it skips four columns to your left and then displays it on the front end. You have to keep in mind that if it does not add up to 12, it's not going to look right. So if I were to off offset this to 6 and save it and refresh it again, it's going to throw it off. And like I said, you always have to make sure that you stay within uh, 12 columns. So it's pretty easy. It's a pretty cool feature. And there's just one more thing I want to show you. Let me change this back to four. <clears throat> now I mentioned earlier that we can actually nest elements. And what that means is inside of this span, we can add a row to itself. And we simply add a div with the row class and when we add a couple of span classes I'm gonna add we'll go with <coughs> 5 oh, span 5 and we'll go with Span seven. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see. This one's going to be a little bit different. Let's copy one of these. Five, comma. And we'll give these a background of yellow. And we'll change the color because that's not going to look good. And we can also we'll keep the padding. And that should be good. What the hell? Oh. Seven. Duh. There we go. So now we have 
two nested uh, columns, uh, one with the span of five, one with the span of seven, and it's within the 12. Uh, there are two things you have to remember when nesting columns within a span. Uh, for a fixed layout, the columns that you nest have to equal to the parent. So this one's obviously good because 5 plus 7 is 12. However, if we were to put a uh, nest two items within the span 6, they could only go as high as the span 3 each. If we try to put two span 6s or a span of 12, it's not going to fit because it can only match. It can't go any higher than its parent. So we can test that really quick. I'll test. <clears throat> and I'll just copy and paste this. Actually, no. We'll keep it. There we go. So, well, like I said, when you're nesting on a fixed layout, you don't have to equal to 12 when you're within a column. It has to equal to the parent. So the only way that's going to work is if we change these to span 3. Fresh. And there you go, now it fits. So um, that's fixed scaffolding. And in our next video, we're going to go over fluid. It's a little bit different, and we're going to make um, some really good use of its features. So if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, and yep, see you next video.